<clears throat> so as Haley said, I'm an intuitive life coach and I am, uh, my business is called Our Natural Wisdom. My clients tend to be mothers who are um, deepening their ability to find fulfillment through reclaiming their natural intuition. And while my clients are mothers, um, or women in general, I find that the work that I do resonates with a lot of people because it's really about connecting with nature and the healing that nature can provide all of us and um, how we can deepen our connection with our inner wisdom, with our intuition, while we are connecting with nature. Um, so we all have intuition. We're all born with intuition. And a lot of us lose connection with it over time for a variety of reasons, but it is always available for us to reclaim and for us to deepen that connection with ourselves as a result. Um, today, I'm going to just provide a very short teaching about connecting with nature's healing from the comfort of your home and how this can also allow you to connect with your inner wisdom, with your intuition. I'll also um, guide you on a on a brief inner journey that will be a really peaceful experience for everybody and something that I think you will be able to call back on in the future uh, from the comfort of your home or from out in nature. So this is just a little slice of a very rich subject. And if you are interested in uh, receiving more information, I do encourage you and I invite you to go to my website. I'll have some free resources available there for you. And again, the website is OurNaturalWisdom.com. So today, I think that one of the most important things to share is that this is your own experience. There's no blueprint or prescription for this. It's really about recognizing when something that I say stirs something within you. What resonates for you? And I invite you to take away from this teaching, whatever resonates for you in your life. So I'm guessing that most of you already have a connection with nature since you were drawn here today. Um, and I think that you've probably experienced how calming and restful and healing nature can be. Um, there's loads of scientific studies about the, um, the very tangible health benefits that nature provides, but Nature benefits us in ways that transcend science. It is something about it resonates within our hearts and within our very souls. And this is because at the very core of everything, we are all energy. And nature is energy. We are energy. Everything that we see around us is energy. Nature is, in fact, the most amazing physical manifestation of pure energy. So whether you choose to define that as atoms and particles or as universal life force or as the divine in whatever way you choose to identify with the divine, nature provides that physical sensation, that physical manifestation and connection with pure energy. So when we connect with nature, we are connecting with pure energy. And our energy inside of us resonates with that. It matches the vibration, the resonance that nature gives out just on its own because it is pure energy. So as a result, nature is connecting us with something deep within ourselves. It isn't, nature isn't just around us or something that is out there. It is us. We are nature, and nature is us. We are part of it. There is an inseparability and an interconnection that we know down deep inside. And yes, our society and culture over time has lost many of those um, connections, but we have an ancient and timeless connection with nature. So when we realize this level of interconnection, and the resonance that we have with nature. We become aware that nature's flowing energy is always flowing around us and through us and within us. And when we, when we embrace this, we're also able to embrace um, 
the ability to more easily release thoughts and emotions that no longer serve us because they are simply energy. We are also able to receive all of the wonderful things that we are meant to receive in this life. Love for ourselves and others, compassion for ourselves and others, and a deep knowing, a deep connection with our inner wisdom, with our intuition. Because that is also energy. So when we can more easily access all of these things through nature, we are in essence um, connecting with our souls because our intuition is the language of our soul. And there is deep healing there, of course. So our, our logical minds might think that we need to literally be in nature to experience this connection, but that's not true. Um, our level of interconnection and our inseparability with nature exists at all times and can be done from anywhere, literally anywhere, even indoors. We can profoundly deepen our connection with nature and our inner wisdom from indoors. So a simple way to connect with nature, nature's healing throughout your day is by interacting, recognizing that you are interacting with the four classical elements of nature, earth, air, fire, and water. Everything is connected and created through these elements in some way. So when you are interacting with them, with the elements of nature, you are interacting with the very foundation of nature, the very core of nature. <clears throat> You are connected with earth when you are standing on wood floors because the trees that created the wood floors are of the earth. Um, when you eat fruits and vegetables, they grew from the earth. So you are connecting with the element of earth in that time. You're connected with air simply by breathing um, or by watching clouds pass by from your window. You're connected with fire when you light your stove or when you do anything with hot water. You're connected with water when you wash your hands, when you drink your favorite beverage, um, when you bathe or shower. So all of these acts that are happening throughout our days, indoors um, and from the comfort of your home, you have the ability to mindfully connect with nature's healing. So. This will also allow you to deepen your connection with yourself, with your inner wisdom, your natural wisdom, which also brings you clarity and healing, especially at a time like we're experiencing right now. There's a deep stillness that is created when you have this level of connection with nature and with yourself, and we could all really use that right now. So I invite you to start simply um, recognizing the times throughout your day when you are directly interacting with an element of nature, earth, air, fire, or water. And when you do, pause for a moment of just stillness. Pause to reflect on what this element means to you. Maybe how you've interacted with it in the past in a way that brings you peace and stillness and healing. Be open to receive the healing and any maybe message that this particular element may have for you in that time. And then send gratitude to that element and to nature. Because nature, of course, gives us so much all the time. It's a very simple and profound mindfulness practice that connects you with nature and your natural wisdom. So before I transition to a short guided inner journey, I just again wanted to pause and say, if you would like more information, I, I have created a free resource that's available on my website. So I um, may have gone through some of that a bit quickly. There's a lot of information to share. Again, this is just a slice of a very rich subject. So if you're interested in having something on paper that you can read and reference, including some um, practical ideas for when you are interacting with an element of nature in the comfort of your home, um, just go to my website, ournaturalwisdom.com, 
and you can request that free guide there. So at this point, I invite you to get comfortable wherever you are. We're going to do a guided inner journey that'll probably be about 10 minutes long. And um, so, you know, find yourself in a position that you are comfortable in for, for 10 minutes. You could be sitting or lying down. It's really your choice. And I invite you to take some nice, deep, cleansing breaths. You can have your eyes closed, or you can keep them open. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. Couple more nice deep breaths. And really feel your connection to the earth. We're going to be connecting with the element of earth right now. Feel how you are resting on the earth. Your body is connected to it through gravity, through all of the layers of the structure that you are in. Energetically, you are connected with the earth right now. And really focus on your feet. <clears throat> and imagine that you have Roots of light extending from the bottoms of your feet into the earth. They're extending as far as you're comfortable with extending. Maybe you want to go deep, deep into the earth. Or maybe you just want to expand out and all directions and connect with other trees, other roots, plants, all of the life that's emerging from the earth right now in this season of spring. And know that the earth is full of nourishment. So much is born of the earth. It is there to support us in every moment. And take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, imagine releasing anything that is no longer serving you down through your feet, down through the roots of light that you have extended into the earth. You can safely release what is no longer serving you. The earth is happy to receive it. It will transmute that energy into life-affirming energy. And as you take another couple of nice deep breaths, imagine that you're drawing up energy from the earth, beautiful life-affirming energy of love and nourishment, all the way up through your feet, through your legs, up through your core, all the way up through your heart center, up into your head, and imagine that you are expanding. You are expanding a canopy like a tree, receiving light, receiving light and love and healing, and receiving the ability to grow and expand 
while also being strongly grounded and able to release anything that is no longer serving you. So in this moment, you are deeply connected with the element of earth. You're like a tree, deeply rooted and strong, grounded and nourished. And your canopy is open and light filled and expansive. And you are able to receive all that is meant to be received for you to have a beautiful life. And you're reminded of how wise you are. So much wisdom is within you as you are grounded and expansive. And now imagine that the element of earth has a special loving message for you. What is that message that is meant just for you? What is that special message that the element of earth has for you? And one more question, how can you connect more deeply with nature's healing? How can you connect more deeply with nature's healing? And know that if you don't hear anything right now, be assured that you will receive these messages when the time is right for you. And as we come to a close, take a nice couple of deep breaths again and slowly come back to this time together. <clears throat> And we give thanks to the element of earth and to nature for this healing and for this insight. And thank yourself for attending this event. You were led to attend this for a reason. And I am so glad that you did. And I invite you to continue deepening your connection with nature, its healing, and with your natural wisdom. And you can do this from the comfort of your home. So again, if you would like to learn more, please check out my website, OurNaturalWisdom.com, for some free resources. Um, I think it'll be especially helpful as we continue sheltering at home. And again, thank you to the Barrington Area Library. Thank you, Haley, for arranging this and for hosting and um, for your interest in this work. I deeply appreciate it. And I know that um, nature resonates for so many people around the world and locally. And I know that nature can provide us great healing and comfort and stillness in this time. So I wish all of you health and stay safe and be well. Thanks so much.